My mom abandoned us, so we abandoned her back. When I was 18, I found out my mom was messaging someone online who lived in another state. One day, she decided to fly over there and meet him. She was supposed to stay for a week, and at first I thought it was awesome that I'd have the whole house to myself, but then one week turned into two, then three, then eventually, it had been a month since I last saw my mom. Everyone kept asking me when she'd be back, but she never gave a definitive answer. After about two months, I got a call from her telling me that she was staying over there, and that I was now in charge of the house, which meant I had to pay all the bills by myself. I refused, but she insisted I pay them since she was no longer living here. I told her she needed to come back and do something with the house because it was under her name and not my responsibility. After that, she hung up on me and wouldn't answer my calls or text. No matter how many times I tried to reach her, I ended up packing my things and went to my dad's house. When the bills started rolling, and she sent me all the links to payment sites, but I ignored them. When she saw I didn't end up paying them, she called me, screaming, telling me I was irresponsible and that I'd get in trouble for not paying them. I told her once again that those bills weren't my responsibility, especially since I was already living with dad now. She said she hopes I end up homeless on the streets and hung up. She tried to get other family members to pay the bills because she didn't want to sell the house. She gave up and ended up coming back in order to sell the house. In the time she was here, we barely had any contact and when she eventually moved back to be with her new boyfriend, we talked even less. I only knew how her life was going through social media. Our family was devastated that she had abandoned us and although it took some time, we were able to move on. It's been five years since she left and I recently got a message from her asking if she and the new family she created could come stay with me. She went to a couple other family members first but was rejected each time. Apparently, she has no support system over there and needs help because she's a stay-at-home mom and her husband got fired. They're having trouble making ends meet and want to stay with someone until they get back on their feet. I rejected her as well saying I have no room and also wanted nothing to do with her. That didn't go over well, and now she's blasting our family on social media saying we're abandoning her in her time of need. It's ridiculous that she doesn't see the irony in her own words. She texts us nonstop saying how we have a duty as her family to help, but I explained we didn't owe her anything because the day she abandoned us was the day she lost her family. She told her husband, and now he won't stop sending us texts about what an awful family we've been. We've since blocked them, and two weeks have passed, but things have been silent on her end.